three engine airplanes really started gaining popularity in the 1960s through the 19 like 80s and 90s and then started to lose popularity in the, the late 90s early 2000s so what caused this sharp increase in popularity followed by a very sharp decrease in popularity so the rise in popularity of three engine aircraft starting around the 60s i think is mostly due to three factors uh, performance factors regulatory factors and uh, like assembly or manufacturing factors so we'll talk about manufacturing first because i think this is probably the, the smallest factor some three engine aircraft were based on a twin engine counterpart and this was the case for the the trilander so the trilander is based off of a twin engine airplane called the islander which had a lot of commercial success as like a, a regional airliner so norman Britton was looking for a new version of the islander that could carry even more weight than the islander um, and so they, they created the trilander but by reusing a lot of the same parts and keeping like the same basic fuselage structure they were able to save money by using a lot of the same assembly line for the two aircraft. So then performance, we, we touched on this just briefly when we said that Norman Britton wanted to increase the useful load. So by adding a third engine, you increase the useful load of an aircraft over a twin engine counterpart. You also increase, increase the cruise speed, the service ceiling, the takeoff distance can decrease, and it's more reliable than a twin engine, right? If you lose an engine, you're down 33% of your total power. Whereas in a twin engine, if you lose an engine, you're down 50% of your power, which is, which is a big difference. That is important, but I think the most important factor that went into the rise in popularity of three engine aircrafts is the, is the regulatory factor. So the regulatory factor is due to the FAA's 60 minute rule at the time. So the 60 minute rule, said that 